When we have sternal fracture, this results from a direct blow to the chest or a severe crush injury. An example, again, hitting that steering wheel in a high-speed MVA. I have a big pearl for you at the end here, so please hang with me. It's very painful, but usually not life-threatening. That is sternal fracture. But can I share something with you? Here's my big pearl. I'm gonna skip side symptoms for one moment. I wanna go down to management, and here it is. Have a high degree of suspicion of associated injuries that can occur with external fractures. Why is that? I mentioned it earlier, folks. If someone has fractured their sternum, you're telling me at the ribs or the clavicle or the lungs or the heart, they were just totally just not affected, but the force was so great that you fractured your hard sternum? That's right. So we don't just go, oh, it's a sternal fracture. Folks, you're telling me the lungs and the heart were just not affected? It's not impossible, but it's not probable that nothing else got affected if you fracture your sternum, right? So, signs and symptoms. Significant anterior chest trauma, tenderness, severe pain, okay, very painful. Abnormal motion or crepitus over the sternum, okay? This is what we look for.